Now, I really hope that you have already completed the challenge and this is just a go through of what you have done and you need to just tally your answers with mine. But it is very essential that you practice on all of these scenarios. So let's see. Now, the simple requirement for the first one is can you group all the squares so that you can then move or delete them at all at the same time? Yes, of course, we will select all of these and click on group. It's as simple as that. If you want to delete, you can delete it together. If you want to move it anywhere, you can move it like this. The second requirement, can you lock all the circles so that they are protected from being moved or deleted? Yes, of course, select all of these. This is the lock option. So now you cannot delete it just like that. You need to select and unlock that to move or to delete the objects. Now, and other requirement is how fast can you evenly space circles into all the grid cells? You can delete this text before you start. So you have a cleaner workspace. So for this, just hold the alternate key and start moving towards right so that you can get to know about the alignment whenever it is affected. So right now, this is the perfect box shape as you can see the borders and this is how we move it. Same case is for moving downwards like this and same goes for this one. Same goes for moving downwards like this. We can delete the extra one. So this is the perfect shape here. And again, alternate is just to make the copy of it. And we will move it and place it like this. So you can see that all of these shapes are in the perfect alignment. Now, again, if you want to insert more, you can do that like this. Alternate, make a copy. Alternate, make a copy. Alternate, make a copy. And then you can select all of these and click on position and align that horizontally. And then you can group that and fill all the other spaces quickly. Let me just get rid of this one. So let's copy, paste like this, copy. You can make the copies from alternate as well. So see how quickly and in the perfect alignment I've created all of these circles using that tricks that we have just learned. Now let's move down. There is a hidden text element behind the green rectangle. Can you find the way to select it and bring it to the front of the rectangle? Of course. We will right click and click this shape to send to backwards. You did it. Nice job. What you can also do with this is you can reduce the transparency and enable that if this suits you. Otherwise, the best option is sending backwards and forward. Now, the next requirement is how quickly can you left align all the green rectangles so that they are flush with the red line? and then space them evenly so they are horizontally aligned with the gray rectangles. Looks difficult, but it's pretty simple. You just need to position the first box as a sample. Just align that perfectly with the red line. Now select all of these elements and in the position, click on left align. Now move one object downwards and align so that all of the remaining can position itself automatically. Now select all of these objects and go to position and click on align vertically space evenly in the vertically. So you can see that it is in the perfect alignment of all boxes. The next requirement is can you recreate the stacked circle design like this one? You see to the left with the circles below. We need to create this design, right? Now here we will smartly use all the techniques and make it as quick as possible. First of all, bring these shapes under this one circle. Like this. Then according to this shape, this should be on the front. So bring forward, bring to front. And this one should be under the position 
it's already on the back this one should also be to the back you will make the alignments like this and then select all of these and click on position and click on middle aligned and then align to the center so as you can see more or less it uh, is like this if i this send this one to the backwards so as you can see that this one bring to the forward and select all of these click on position and first of all click on center and then select all of these first of all go to position and click on middle and then click on center so you need a little bit more experiment with it only the this shape is not aligned perfectly so we can manually do that as well i need to send this one backward now and this one should be reduced in size and then you can middle align that or you can center align that afterwards you can align that and now it's perfect so this is how you have fulfilled all the requirements on the challenge exercise congratulations